Hi everyone, this is Anna. I'm coming to you with part two of my collective haul, the last one for 2012. And I'm going to start off with the Cricut cartridges. If you need to see the booklet, just message me or leave a comment and I'll come back and show you the booklet if need be. Like I said, I'm a new scrapper and some of the things that I'm going to show you, you already probably know about them. But they are new to me and I'm thankful and grateful to have them. The first cartridge is um, Formal Occasions. I got that one. I also got um, Simply Charm. I have um, Fancy Frames. I also have Creative, creative Critter. Yay! I really, really wanted this one. Um, I also got um, Better Together. This is a Cricut Imagine cartridge. Um, the next one is um, Phrases. And I believe this is a new one. I also have um, the flower shop and this is supposed to be a project um, cartridge um, also and I really wanted this one the wild card 2 I have the wild card 1 and I was looking through that and it has some really unique cartridges and this one also too and this is a new one this is a wild card number 2 cartridge and this is another one that I really wanted. Um, it's called Ribbons and Rosettes. And I have um, greeting cards inside and out. Also, I have the older one of this one, um, Tags, Bags, Boxes, and More. This is Tags, Bags, Boxes, and More 2. And from what I heard, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use the um, scoring tool, but in the Cricut Expression, if anybody out there know if I can, I'm thinking that um, the scoring tool is for the Expression 2. I'm not sure. But um, this is what the scoring tool looks like. And the reason why I got this is because, like I said, I don't see very well. And I know on the older, older cartridges, it's very, very hard to see the score lines. But from what I've seen and heard on YouTube, if you get the scoring tool, it actually scores it a little bit better than what um, the older cartridges does. But these two, um, I was told that you need the um, scoring to and the housing to use um, tags, bags, boxes, and more too. So if anybody out there know if I can use this in the regular Cricut Expression, because I don't have the Cricut Expression too. I have the regular um, Cricut Expression and I have the Cricut Imagine. So I'm not sure if, um, if this is going to work in the Cricut Expression. And that's it for my cartridges. The next thing I want to show you is some new stamps that I got from Gina K Designs. And the first one is Birthday Wishes. And, well, Birthday Greetings. And it has a lot of um, little sayings that you can use on birthday cards. And it also has... Um, if you've forgotten someone's birthday and you want to send them a card, it has some sentiments on there that you can use for that. I also have the Bow Easy. Um, it's a little tool and it's supposed to make you be able to make the perfect bow. Since I can't tie a bow and I can barely tie a knot, I hope this comes in handy where I can actually use it. I've been doing some research on looking at some YouTube videos and I've seen where they're showing you how to use it. 
and also on Stamp TV, um, Gina K um, also does a tutorial on how to use the Bow Easy. Um, also, I got her um, Hello Sunshine um, kit for the month of June. Um, these are the stamps that she has on here. You get the stamps, and also you get a, um, it comes in a kit, and you get um, let me open it up so you can see what all you get in the kit. Um, you get brads and eyelets. You get ribbon, which I think the ribbon is really nice. All of this ribbon comes in the kit. Um, also, here's her, I guess this is the pattern paper. And it has some really pretty colors. Go back through it again. And this is called the Hello Sunshine um, kit for June. And then you get all of these papers. All the different cardstock. I love her black onyx um, cardstock. And it, and it feels really, really thick. It's a very, very thick. Um, cardstock. So this is what you get in that Hello Sunshine kit. And also, what I've got from Gina K, I ordered. Um, get into this. I'm not really sure how to use this perfect pearl, but I've seen a lot of people on YouTube that was using the perfect pearl. But I ordered the little, um, this is, um, this is the black perfect pearl medium, and I got one of those. And this is just, um, I guess it's just as. I'm thinking that the black perfect pearl is used on dark paper and the medium this one right here is used for lighter cardstock um, or whatever you're going to use but if not if I'm wrong someone can leave a comment or let me know down in the comment box and then I got two of the perfect pearls and I got the two brushes one is the dust the powder off because you from what I learned that you can reuse it's just like you do your embossing powder and the brush to brush the perfect pearl on um, I've got um, the ink dabbers and I've got three of those they were kind of small I got that and I got the attic um, anti-static um, pad when you're embossing this is supposed to remove any ink or any static or anything when you get ready to emboss you wipe down your um, project and then you start to apply your um, stamp and your ink or your embossing powder but this is supposed to um, keep dust, I mean keep, excuse me, keep um, static and grease so that the um, Boston Potter will not go on any other part of the cardstock, just the part that you want to emboss and I thought that was something that I would need. And this is my favorite that I got from Gina K. Sorry everyone. Um, this is called the Lacy um, Lacy Borders, and 
I had tried to add in my wish list some lace, which I did, but when I went and looked at the lace, it was just too expensive, and I really didn't want to put that kind of money in lace right now due to I'm a beginner. But then I saw Gina K with the lacy borders, and on Stamp TV, she demonstrated with a sympathy card, and it was really, really pretty. And I couldn't wait to open mine up, which I did. Um, this is actually what it looks like. Um, I d used the Versamark ink and the white embossed in powder. But I didn't use my static clean pad and I noticed that some of it didn't turn out that well. But this was my first one so if practice make perfect so. But I just love the way that this turned out. Um, it actually to me looks like lace but I just had some scrap paper and I just glued this on here um, this other piece right here I glued this one on there so I could just show both of the little samples that um, I had to try it out because I was just so excited um, because it actually looks like lace but it's not it's a stamp and it's a rubber stamp um, I opened it up and you get um, you get all three of the all four of these stamps and then it has like um, I don't know if you can see it it has happy an I got it upside down it has happy anniversary um, congratulations it also have um, the 25th the 50th and I can't really see um, what this one is you might let me see can't really tell what that says um, it says um, but the let me see maybe if I take it out from the camera Oh, it says, but the greatest of the, but the greatest of these, of this, of these is love. And it has, um, happy, happy ever after. And like I said, it has the 25th and the 50th. So, um, I really think that, um, these are really neat. I'll hold them where you can actually see them. It actually, when you embossed it, it really looks like lace. Um, also, from Joann's, I didn't show this in my last one, but I went and got a, um, a twilling pen for the um, flowers because I have the art philosophy um, cartridge in um, this stool tool. You can just roll, put it in this little slant. And, and roll it which someone said I probably didn't even need this but someone said that you can roll them with your hands but since I had a wish list and I knew that I was not going to buy anything else for 2012 I said well let me go ahead and get it so I can complete my um, wish list for 2012 also I didn't show you in this the last video from Amazon.com. I'd already opened this because I used it. It's the um, Score Buddy. And I really, really like this. The Score Buddy is really, really great. I really like it. And I got some ink, some stays on ink. Because I like doing goodie bags. And I was told that you can use the stays on ink to stamp on your cello, cello, cello bags and this is um, Timber Brown and I got um, the um, Jet Black the stays on ink and I got 
this was from Amazon.com also. Um, the Distress Tea Dye Ink. Um, Miss Mary at Cards TV uses the, uses this dye a lot. So this is my first um, Distress Ink um, that I've owned. And hopefully in the future I may get some more. But right now that's what I have. And the Versamark um, pan, which I opened this up and I used it because I wanted to see what the lacy borders look like. And I believe that's all for the collective haul for 2012. Everyone, I thank you for watching, taking the time out to watch my video on my collective haul for 2012. And hope to see you soon with some projects using the things that I bought this year. Um, coming to you with projects. I'm going to try to do at least um, two to three projects a month. Um, I'm just going to have to schedule myself. Like I said, I have a two-year-old, but I know a lot of crafters out there have children too. And probably got more. I only got one. So... Um, I just got to get myself together and start using this stuff because um, my husband was saying, you don't need all of that, you don't need all of that. And I'm like, well, maybe I don't. And, and I'm not saying that everybody out here has to do what I did to have a wish list, but I wanted a wish list and I wanted to try to get everything on my wish list and use the things that I have. Um, and then get more and right now I really believe that I have all more than enough to keep me busy um, like I said I have the Cricut Imagine I have the Cricut um, Expression I've got over now over 50 um, Cricut cartridges paper I've got a closet that's full of paper um, and I really don't need anything else. I need to use what I have. And like I said, I am so thankful and grateful that I was able to get all of the supplies that I wanted. May not all what I needed, but um, I got them. And I'm thankful and I'm grateful. And I'm looking forward to applying myself to come up with ideas and projects with the help of my YouTube friends out there because um, I really still enjoy watching what everybody else do but the only thing now I'm not gonna say oh I need that I may say I wish I can get that but no more buying scraps scrapbooking material until next year so again thank you everyone and please leave a comment subscribe and everyone have a happy crafting, blessed day, be safe, and I'll see you real soon with some projects now. Bye-bye.